guys, it's Margie, and today I'm doing a movie review of the 1997 film Air Force One. This film starred Harrison Ford, Gary Oldman, Glenn Close, Wendy Crewson, Paul Gullifoyle, William H. Macy, Liesl Matthews, Dean Stockwell, Xander Berkeley, Bill Smitrovich, Elia Baskin, David Vadim, Tom Everett, Spencer Garrett, Philip Baker Hall, Donna Bullock, Don R. McManus, David Giapolis, and Glenn Marshauer. Directed by Wolfgang Peterson, edited by Richard Francis Bruce, who also edited The Shawshank Redemption, The Green Mile, and Oblivion. Music by Jerry Goldsmith, who also did the music for U.S. Marshals, The Burbs, Forever Young, and First Blood. Excuse me, Cinematography by Michael Ballas, who also did Cinematography for Gangs of New York, Goodfellas, and The Departed, Cin um, excuse me, written by Andrew W. Marlowe, and produced by Wolfgang Peterson, David, w David V. Lester, who also produced Shawshank Redemption and Star Wars, Gail Katz, Mark Abram, and Armin Bernstein, and these last two also produced The Family Man, which I've done a previous review of. Okay, guys, so basic plot for this movie is that um, Harrison Ford is the President of the United States, and he is coming back from um, another country, and his plane is hijacked by terrorists, and that is it in a nutshell. Of course, Glenn Close plays the Vice President, who is trying to get saved the President, and all this fun, fun stuff. Gary Oldman plays the terrorist in this movie. Okay, let's jump into performances. Um, Harrison Ford as president. Wow, I thought he did so wonderful. I, he was very presidential, um, which a lot of that was the writing, which made him seem very presidential, but I thought he had a great performance. And I absolutely thought he did great in all of his emotional scenes. I bought everything. I mean, I thought he had a great performance. And he had this one particular crying scene that was so good. Mainly because I was just like, I, Harrison Ford, I did not know you could do this. Like, I've seen probably ten Harrison Ford films, and he's never done that. Um, the crying, that the, the great crying scene that he had. He did very, very well. I was like, oh my gosh, what a pleasant surprise. Um, who knows, he's probably been able to do that all his life, and I'm just now aware. But you see what I'm saying? Like, there was range and depth in this performance. It wasn't just like, oh, I'm the president, blow everybody away, you know, be a cool dude, etc., etc. Great performance from Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford fans, you need to see this one. You do. Um, Gary Oldman, really great performance. Really great performance. I thoroughly enjoyed his performance in this. I didn't think there was anything else he could have done. To me, he did, was a little bit typical bad guy, but a lot of that was writing, and it wasn't very much, like, just a little bit. Like, he was very, he was very, I, well, I don't know what the word for it is I'm searching for, but he was very unique to me as a villain. It wasn't like, okay, I've heard this and seen this a thousand times, you know. So, I, I thought he was great, um, kind of as a villainous terrorist guy. I thought he had a really great performance. Um, Glenn Close. I thought it had a good performance to me, and this was probably her the writing that was done on her role. It was a little too diplomatic at times, um, because you, to me, I didn't really see like the human side of her in in well in a few scenes. But anyway, I thought she had a really great performance on the whole. Um, Everybody else here that I mentioned, Wendy Crewson, I believe, plays the First Lady, if I remember correctly. I thought she had a really great performance. Um, William H. Macy, my goodness, what has William H. Macy not been in? I mean, let's be honest, the man has been in every movie under the sun. He And he's another one of those great supporting actors. He had a really good performance, um, and I totally knew what was going to happen to his character way before it happened, but I'll get into that in just a minute. Um, yes, great performance. I thought he did very, very well, and he was also in Wag the Dog, which I've done a previous review of, so go check out that review. 
<laughs> Shout out. Um, anyway, okay, everybody else here that I mentioned, guys, was great. I didn't think there was, the supporting cast for this, to me, was so good. And they just did, they just wrapped it all together. It was like a Christmas present. I love Christmas presents. Okay, the direction for this was so much better than what I was expecting. I was expecting typical shoot 'em up, you know, blow everybody away, be victorious kind of movie. And this film actually had like a lot of nice moments in it. And I don't know what the relationship was between the director and Harrison, but I love the director. And Harrison may have said, I'm just going to cry. You know, and we'll do it, and the director was like, great. But Harrison may have said, hey, you know, I don't know if I can do that. And the director was like, and may have been like, oh, you're doing it. I love this director, Wolfgang Peterson, so much for demanding excellence out of his actors. Not saying that they didn't, wouldn't have brought it anyway, but like, I just love that, that he, you know, and I don't know whether he told Harrison this or not, but like, Whatever, Harrison cried in the movie and did well. And I love Wolfgang for demanding that of him. At least I'm, I don't know whether he did. But you see what I'm saying? Like, if he did, that's great. Because to me, there's no excuse for bad acting. I mean, I'm not an actor myself. And I could not cry like that or at the hill of beans. But if you're going to say you're a great actor and you're going to do it, then you should be able to do it. That's just my opinion. I'm going on a rant. Let's not go down this road. Okay. Editing was great. I love the editing for this. Um, a couple scenes could have been shortened. I say that on every review. I know. But um, there wasn't like a lot of stuff. that It didn't get draggy. I thought the pacing for this movie was really good. The music. Oh. Like, I watched the end credits. Like, I just let them play just to hear the music. It was that good. Jerry Goldsmith is a beast. And he is just... Man, this was such a great score. Perfect with the presidential theme. Perfect in like the the places where it came in at just the right moments. I mean, this film is beautifully scored. Absolutely love it. The cinematography for this, I actually liked it. Um, the lighting was kind of funky in places, but I, I enjoyed it. And I thought the cinematography for this was good. Now, some people will not agree with me, but I enjoyed it. I liked it. Um, the writing for this was so much better than I thought it was going to be. Oh, I thought it was just going to be so typical. Like, you know, shoot them up, like I said. Um, bang, bang, be a tough guy, save the day, action kind of movie. And the writing for this was actually really, really good. Um, really, really enjoyed it. The dialogue for this was actually really surprisingly good. Let's jump into Parents Guide for this one, guys. We have uh, language. We have one use of F, two use of S, two use of B, six use of GD, um, five, four use of D, two use of A, and three use of H. We have several religious exclamations also in the language category. Um, for drug and alcohol, we have some smoking, but that's it. For violence and gore, there's a lot of gun violence, and people do get shot, but it's nothing that would just, you know, make you hurl again. I mean, it's pretty toned down, other than that it happens. Like, they'll, you know, anyway, it didn't really bother me. There's a lot of it. Sexual content, there is none. As I mentioned to you guys before, my father and I are cursed with the fact that we can figure out um, oftentimes what is going to happen in films way before it happens, and I mean, of okay, well, alright, I'm posting right here to where to skip to for spoilers, skip to wherever this says, um, so you can skip past the spoilers. Okay, if you're still watching, it means you've already watched the film. If you're still watching and you have watched the film, why have you not skipped? Thank you, I'm asking. Anyway, guys, you've watched the film, so let's, let's talk some spoilers here. Of course, we all knew that Harrison was going to save the day and be wonderful and, you know, all this kind of stuff. However, I think your suspense lies in you don't know who is and who's not going to die. I mean, you know Harrison is not because they just wouldn't do that. But, um... You know, yeah, I could have seen like uh, I, there was there's people like you that you know aren't gonna die, like the president's daughter and the president's wife. You're like they're not gonna kill them. They're just not gonna do it. So, um, you know, as far as writing, like I just knew that. So you're, it's like who's gonna die and who's not. 
you know, um, but I knew as soon as William H. Macy's character came on, it was, like, so wonderful. It's, like, you know, trying to be so great and seem so sweet, like, to the president and stuff. I was like, he's dead. He is a dead man. Because, as a writer, you've got to have a character die that people care about just for, like, oh, you know, to kind of, like, wrench your heart or whatever. So I was like, that's going to be the one. And he's a dead man. Sure enough. Poor, poor old William H. Macy um, did pass away. I watched this film with my father, and, and I looked over at Dad. I was like, Dad, he's going to get it. He's like, oh, I know. Like, literally, we, he had been on the screen. William H. Macy's character had just been introduced, had not been on the screen one minute. I summed up the character. I was like, he's sweet, he's lovable, all this kind of stuff, and he's dead. Anyway, <laughs> he will die eventually. I'm like, he's going to be the one that takes it. For the president. Sure enough, he was. Call it a curse. Call it a blessing. Whatever you want. It's just like, it's totally hereditary. And, um, yeah. I mean, I can kind of um, figure out how movies are going to go a lot of times. But a lot of that has to do with being a critic. Because you know, um, based on writing patterns and stuff, where a lot of times people will go with the film. So, um, yeah. I think, it, I think it has to do with... Uh, prediction and you know paying attention and patterns in film and and having a father who can also do this helps a ton too anyway um yeah that it's so random though and again my friends are just like they none of them have actually like refused to go see a movie with me because of this but I mean I think they secretly dread it which I never tell them like as soon as I know I'm just like you know, but anyway, it's, it, like I've had some of my friends just give me like that look, and I'll kind of look back, and it's like you can I can read what they're thinking. They're thinking she knows how this is going to end, and I don't. Why am I so dumb? I promise nobody else is dumb. I'm probably dumb for, and it kind of it's so kind of annoying though too because you're just like, oh my gosh, you know I I dang it I would love a film that I don't know how this is going to end. Like I want to be you know filled with suspense and all this. Um, so when a film comes along where I can't predict the ending, I'm like, whoever made this. I love you so much because it's so rare that I can't figure it out. Anyway, guys, and it's unconscious too. It's not like I'm trying to figure this out. It's just like, oh, I know he's going to die. You know, you just know. It's like it comes to you. It does. It, I just wanted to address that a little bit. This is a, a predictable film. I would say how it's going to end, but that's just me. But again, it's like who's going to die and who's not. I mean, you know what, like, who, who is not going to die, but then, then, like, the, among the weaker, um, characters and, like, subordinates of the president, it's like, are you gonna, you know, survive through this, or are you not, and what, how are they gonna rescue the president, and all that kind of stuff, so, yeah, it was a lot better than what I was expecting. I'm giving this film three and a half stars out of five. It was so much better than what I was expecting. I mean, it was actually a really good movie. Would I watch this movie again? Yes, I would. I thought Harrison had a great performance, and especially his cry scene, um, which I love cry, great cry scenes anyway. I would highly recommend it, especially if you're a fan of William H. Macy, Gary, Gary Oldman, Glenn Close, Wendy Crewson, you know, all those kind of people. Yeah, give this one a watch because, I mean, the, the cast was great. I like the direction, and there's some extra nice little things about this film that makes it not typical in my point of view. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking out my review of the 1997 film Air Force One. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.